Hi, and welcome to this video on who is Lookups and what it means for you as a domain owner. So who is Lookups essentially are when someone runs a domain through a who is Lookup search and it, it presents a bunch of information on that domain that could be useful. Before GDPR came into force, these were a lot more relevant and they came up with things like phone numbers, email addresses, uh, addresses of the of the sort of details you use when you register that domain. Obviously, uh, nowadays due to GDPR, none of that is available publicly. So let's do a who is lookup search and take a look. And now I'm going to look up a dot com um, and I'm using the I can look up. So I'd always recommend using the companies who are responsible for your for the domain registrations use their who has look up so i can do a lot of international domains um, if i was looking up a dot uk domain i'd use nominet because ultimately they're responsible for dot uk registrations so let's take a quick look at one of these and i will list um these companies and the who is search who is lookups i think you should use in the description below uh, you should try always try and use the companies who are responsible uh, just because it'll be the most accurate information so let's take a look at fastos.com so here's the information we're going to see so the name of the domain domain registry domain id not really that useful but then you do get into some useful information so domain status if you're trying to um, if you're trying to transfer a domain, you'll need to know that. And also if your domain's not resolving or having any issues, it could be uh, to do with domain status. And you can always Google a domain status if you're not sure or click on them um, and it'll give you a bit more information. So name servers. So this is who is responsible for the DNS of that domain. So if you're trying to make DNS changes, that's the, the name servers. Uh, whoever's looking after those name servers is who you need to go to. And then it's got the dates of registry and when it was created. So contact information nowadays, like I say, this used to be populated with a lot of information, but because of GDPR, not so much anymore. Then it's got registrar information and reseller information. Um, so if you've got any queries on your domain name and you couldn't remember who you registered it with, do a Whois lookup and you'll be able to go and go to those companies and, and sort of get access to your domain. So if we do a quick look up on a .uk domain, so if we look at fastest.co.uk, very similar. .uk is a slightly different, which is why I'm doing a who is look up on here. Um, so domain name, similar data validation. So that's important um, because if a you'll, you'll be able to find out here if your domain name hasn't been validated, you'd need to go through the validation process. Then it's got registrar. So this is a really important part of your transferring domains this ips tag um, at the moment is live domains which is fast hosts so at the moment fast hosts are the only people as a domain registrar who could uh, who could actually make any changes to this domain if you're transferring a domain name a dot uk domain the IPS tag is the important part. So if you're having problems with a transfer of a .uk domain, do a whois lookup and have a look at who the IPS tag is with. They're the only people who can sort of administer your domain at that time. Then again, you've got relevant dates, uh, re registration status. So at the moment, nothing going on with that. And again, name servers. So if we needed to make any DNS changes, there's who, there's who we would need to go to. I'll end on saying you shouldn't use a who is lookup. Um, if you're trying to find a new domain name, for example, um, I wouldn't use a who is lookup to find out if it's available. Um, you're better off going to a domain registrar of some description, it doesn't have to be fast host, and just seeing if a domain name is available to register through them. But ultimately, if you um, if you want to have a look at multiple domains, you could always use a who is lookup to see if those domains are registered. And if you're interested in buying a domain as well, you could run it through a Whois tool to find out who you'd need to contact in that event. And that's really all there is to it. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.